Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Nichols. I hope you are all doing well. I have missed not being there um, this week, of course, in person with all of you, but I have heard you guys are doing awesome. So please keep up the great work. You know that makes me so proud, um, like you always make me proud. So keep that um, up and keep up the awesome work. Well, I am excited today to get to introduce our next step in government. Remember I kind of hinted to you on Friday that you would be doing this, but today you are going to start writing your raps for government and to show all of the great things that you have learned about government so far. So today I'm gonna to kind of introduce this for you so you'll be ready to start with your groups. And I have up here, um, Schoology in social studies. And I am on quarter three this week, week two. And under Wednesday, there are some helpful resources that I think you will um, definitely want to use. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you is where it says vocabulary beats. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and bring that up so you can see that. And when um, you have vocabulary up, you are going to see that there are a ton of different beats that you can choose from. I think they've got, oh goodness, at least 25 or so beats that you can choose. So after you are done writing your rap, you're gonna choose a beat that you are going to perform your rap to. So I have linked this, so you can kind of start checking out some of the fun beats that are there on um, Schoology. And another thing then that um, I have linked here on Schoology for you um, is an example of a rap that I wrote. I actually wrote this a few years ago, and um, this is just an example so you can kind of see what um, what a rap could look like. Of course, I know you guys are going to have all kinds of creative ideas and things that you are going to be doing, but um, I wanted to show you an example of mine so that you can um, see kind of all of the great things that um, that you can do. So today, you are going to get to see me perform this. Um, uh, you're lucky because since I'm not there, you're gonna, not going to get to see all of my cool dance moves, but lucky you, you're just going to get to hear me rap this. So um, I went on to uh, vocabulary and picked a beat that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and I'm going to perform my government rap so you can see just an example. Again, I'm sure you guys are going to have so many great examples as well. So let me turn on my beat here. Here we go. And I'm going to put on some sunglasses to make it fun. Hopefully you'll bring in some props too for yours. We're learning about three types of governments. They are all so cool. We are lucky to be learning about them in school. In democracy, the citizens have the say to elect who they want to make their day. The president and prime minister are on the top, but citizens have rights and freedoms that don't stop. Monarchy with the prince, princess, king, and queen. And pass through a family source like a dream. Absolute and constitutional are the two kinds. Sometimes the power is absolute. You will find dictatorship. You'll have to do what you are told. Hitler is an example and he was very bold. Force and family is how they get the job. They aren't able to do anything and will sob. We're learning about three types of governments. They are all so cool. We are lucky to be learning about them in school. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my government wrap. Again, just kind of a fun way to put a lot of the things together with what we have been um, learning. So today, you are going to get together with your group and you are going to start writing your 
wrap. First, you're going to get your group and then you can start figuring out, are you going to have kind of a verse at the beginning and a verse at the end like I did? Or are you going to do yours a totally different way? You can do it however you want. You want to make sure, though, that you have information about democracy, information about monarchy, and information about dictatorship somewhere in your wrap so you can show us all of the learning that we have been doing. Again, the sky is the limit and I can't wait guys to see all of the wonderful things that you are going to do. So keep working hard. Get started today. You can start working on your Google Doc. Make sure you share your Google Doc with all members of the group so you can be working on it even on your own a little bit at home. And we will look forward to performing our wraps on Friday in class. Guys, have a wonderful day and I hope you keep wrapping and have a great day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.